Very good. A very warm welcome to you. Please do come in. Do you have your invitation? Excellent. Given how incredibly busy we've been the last few weeks, we operate on a reservation only system, and we thought it would be quite nice. To send out written invitations. Excellent. Please do take a seat. Now you're here for our hot towel shave. Invite only. Hot towel shave. Okay, so what we like to do here is take into consideration all of your needs. Your skin the hair, eyebrows, your beard, if you have one, how tired you're feeling, what kind of cut you would like, whether it be conversational, completely silent, a little bit of both, whatever you need. Before we do anything else, it's quite a warm day today, and it's important to remain hydrated. So what we like to do is prepare you a rehydration drink. Now this is a low sodium allow you to hydrate easily and without symptom. Okay? What I mean by that is it's not going to spike blood sugars. It's not going to uh, suddenly have you wide awake. It's just going to make sure you're adequately hydrated. It's a lemon flavor. Really quite nice. Now we use an Icelandic mineral water. And as it dissolves, I'll talk to you a little bit about what we'll be doing today. So first I'll do a quick preliminary skin assessment to understand how your upper epidermis is sitting if it's a little bit dry, any redness, then we'll have a look at the beard, if you had one. Understanding the direction of the growth, the thickness, the length that you would like it cut back to. I assume we're not shaving everything, we're just tidying things up. Okay. Then we'll be applying a serum to the skin. And again, allowing your skin to hydrate. I can smell the lemon. Got that kind of tangy, citrusy. 
it has real lemon juice in there as well, courtesy of our little lemon squeezer. Good. Just drink that slowly. It doesn't need to be uh, downed in a single shot. All right. Have a quick look at the skin. All right. Okay. Do you have any irritation? A little redness around the nose, maybe from wearing sunglasses or glasses. Good. Okay. I think maybe we'll use a, a composition of two serums actually, and a little eye gel. We have a, a spearmint and a lavender eye gel that just softens that delicate skin under the eye. And it's important. The skin around the eye is some of the softest we have on our entire body and people can be quite rough with it. We too, when we're rubbing our eyes, we give very little thought for that delicate skin. All right, so here we're gonna treat you with kindness, with relaxation and consideration. Provide you a treatment that incorporates some of the most luxurious and effective products on the market, okay? We are tried and tested. I'm the lead barber of our salon and have been for 16 years. Okay? These hands are safe hands. All right? You're not going to be leaving today with a style and a cut that isn't befitting of you. Okay? All right. Keep drinking that water. And we're going to start by applying our Radiance Gel. Now, this is a, a nourishing gel. Two fingers only. the eyes. Good. And you'll notice you, your skin around your eyes is absorbing that very quickly, which uh, perhaps equal parts a little bit of dehydration and the lack of moisture in the skin. Okay. It has a lemon and orange citrus smell to it. It goes nicely with the drink, the hydration drink that uh, we found. Wonderful. Now, we're going to apply a lightweight coconut balm for the skin. I think if this is more like a prep for the beard, it will be applied all over the face, not just to the skin including the beard. Notice it's quite a, quite a thick cream. Applied over three finger on each. We're just applying something of a five head, but we played the cards we were dealt. And every once in a while you can 
come across to a barber and maybe they can slip you an extra card or two. Bolster your hand. That coconut smell is quite... It's a delicate but enriching smell. Now that coconut cream will penetrate deeply. Okay, really start to reinvigorate the skin. Okay, it also ask us a nice prep before we start to shave. And we will be cutting and styling your hair, of course. Um, but the focus is on the beard and is on you. All right. While the hot towel is applied, we'll also give you a shoulder and neck massage. Just to even the tension of the day. Because life is complicated enough. Sometimes it's, it's nice just to come somewhere and be taken care of. To be able to sit back and relax and feel that somebody cares and somebody wants to help you. Okay? Excellent. Now, the coconut again absorbed a little bit quicker than than I would like. Also typical of a little bit of dehydration. Um, I think your skin was feeling a little bit lonesome, perhaps. <laughs> it's no problem. I think we'll also apply a nice pre-shave oil. Now this is a rosemary and basil mix. And what it will do is it can penetrate to the beard quite deeply. It's also stocked full of vitamin E. And really will bring out a, a nice shine to the beard. But it's also, as I said, use it as a prep oil. And we only use this really very delicately, just a pea size. That's all we need. And it'll be applied with just a little bit of ease here, just applying a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, good, 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 good. The moustache, never forget the moustache. And the neck. And it's important we get the neck oiled and sleek. Contains more capillaries and blood vessels than any other part of her body. And while you'll see some lesser barbers nicking the skin and a little bit of blood flowing, it's not necessarily because they're terrible barbers, but it is quite easy to do. Of course, we haven't had a cut here in at least 10 years. It isn't uh, a firing offense, but it's something that we ensure it just simply does not happen. Okay, good. I need you to finish that hydrating liquid for me, please. Well done. Good. If you need another drink, of water, coffee, another... I wouldn't recommend another hydration tablet. I don't want you having to run up and... Okay. Good. Okay. Now while the oil is absorbing, I will introduce you to your shaving brush. Now this has been soaking for 18 hours in a menthol water base. And when we apply with our sandalwood soap, you get this beautiful enrichment of this nose widening, invigorating menthol, coupled with this comforting sandalwood. The reason we soak it, 
as it allows the bristles to expand and absorb maximum amount of water. In this case, it will be soap. Really, again, fluffing and exaggerating the leather of our soap. Now, really sit back, okay? I'm going to apply our steamed towel. Now this is so soft. And it's a little bit damp because it's steamed. Double wrap on the neck. Good. Good. Now, I want to leave this for five minutes. anxiety in their shoulders and the neck but it can also extend down our arm even into the wrist so we're really just working that out good very good 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 single thumb and there's a little pressure point just beneath that are going to work gradually delicately but with a practiced precision good good it's just us draining everything away imagine an elastic band that's been pulled tight we're just Working out that tension, massaging out that tightness. Good. 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 Okay. How are we feeling? Let me take the towel off. Good.
Nice. Okay. Your beard is softened perfectly. Our sandalwood soap. Now we'll take our bristle brush. Two squeezes. And it's so soft. It's not soaking, it's just damp. We're just going. It's going to lather this up. And this is a soap, not a foam or a cream. A good barber can be working this leather for a good couple of minutes. Just need a touch more water. So what we're going to do, a finger into the soaking liquid, and we'll just drop that on. Very good. glide along perfectly. Today we'll be using two razors because one is exceptionally sharp and it's used predominantly for just tidying up the mustache. That is our falcon long sweeping blades is the straight back razor. Again, also incredibly sharp. But better designed for these long, long sweeping strokes. Let's begin. Stop. 
very important, the utmost important, that we work with dry hands. Very good. Okay. You know your neckline. What we did here was cut two lines. A line here and a line here. Provides definition. It looks slick. Looks professional. But not ostentatious. Alright. Good. It's a good look. Your beard and the skin beneath the beard is responding very well to the treatments. We'll also give it a fine or a finishing moisturizer once we're finished cutting to help rehydrate. You'll know this by now if you've ever been to one of our barbers. But the actual act of cutting in the shave strips a lot of the natural oils from the shave and from the beard and that's the last thing we want to do so we'll rehydrate we'll reinvigorate okay let's get to the moustache I just want to apply a little bit of a little bit more soap We'll reach for the Falcon Razor. Again, now this is an incredibly sharp razor. The blade is changed at the end of each session, of course. So this is a new blade and a fresh blade for you. And we're just going to the mustache.
Excellent. Good. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Again, the skin is incredibly soft. It's great to see. Just a little bit more. Uh, just a little bit more here. And we're just taking the smallest of strokes. Just almost like we're combing through your mustache. Good. Now with the same razor blade, we're going to just define the sideburns. Okay, just stepping off to the side here. Good. Very good. On to this side. to help it re-incorporate those oils. Okay, so let me take, I think that moisturizer is not going to suit the skin type. This one, this is an Elemis rehydrating post shave scrub it smells of cotton <laughs> beautiful Very good. If your voice could speak for your beard, it would be singing with delight, comfort, and relaxation. Good. That brought that natural sheen back. That um, invigoration. Good. Okay. Now we'll let the moisturizer sit for just a few minutes. And then we'll finish it with a beard oil. Alright. While the moisturizer is working, I'm going to put a quick tonic into the hair. And so. Uh, serum, one of our own devices, and I think it's expanding foam that's rubbed into the hair.
Okay. Now your your hair seemed to gobble that up very quickly. I might use a little bit more. And it's almost a a velvety silk. Now we use this quite sparingly into the palm, no more than a few drops. feeling well if you feel even one tenth as good as you look you are well on your way to the articulate experience okay I was going to spray up there a little bit going to cut along the ear here. Just relax. I need some 
something a little bit finer for this. What is that? We're taking tiny. Good, 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 good. Now your other ear. Okay, just tiny little snips here. just to show off. Very good. is actually responding very well to the serum, which is what we were hoping for. It's what we expected to happen. Maybe you can see in the mirror, but it's being given a sheen, a glow that I was talking about. It looks silky, and it's beginning to look exceptionally Here. 
hair is looking really quite exceptional. We're going to use a soft salt spray by Seance. It's what's called Salon Plex. something that 